Meal the Dog is super nanny for pets. It's basically where I go into homes and there's real disharmony with the family and their dogs. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey, how are hey, you? Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Sarah. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you, Sarah. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi, I'm Susan. Hey. I'm so happy you're here. Say training is 80% owner, 20% dog, because the owner becomes the most important trainer in that dog's life. And it's my job to motivate the owner to work with their dogs. Consistency is probably, again, one of the things that people don't do, especially if you've got a whole big family um, and you've got a dog there and everybody's treating the dog in, in, a, in a different way. Then the dog becomes confused because, of course, they don't speak our language. Battling over their four little dogs. It's unsanitary. <laughs> I say it's never too late to train a dog. Obviously, when a dog gets older and when it gets into old age, it does have less brain mass than, a, than an adult dog. But I can say at any age, even if the dog is older, the dog's just going to learn a little bit slower. It is never too late to train your dog. Aiden likes to poop underneath the bed. I don't believe you need to make a dog submissive in order for it it to behave for you. I believe that the best relationships are, are based on cooperation, not domination. And the whole thing about positive training is that it's building up mutual trust between dog and owner. I would rather that my dog follow me because it wants to, rather than it's worried that uh, about what's going to happen to it if it doesn't.